Looks like this really is a city. Or at least it used to be. Have you ever played Tales of the Abyss? Tales of the Abyss is my third favorite Tales of game. Absolutely adore that game. Fantastic. I need to play it again on the channel sometime soon. Honestly, Tales of the Abyss, quite possibly, best protagonist in video game history. Luke von Fabra is one of the best protagonists I've ever seen in gaming. What a mess. Do you think we'll find anyone here? I don't know. This place looks as empty as everything else we've seen here. Hey, there's somebody on the floor! Is that... Sophie? Her hair is not nearly long enough. No way it's Sophie. Looks similar, though. She's a little robot girl. Have you seen the anime adaptation for Abyss? Nah. I mean, I played the game. If I ever really want to watch the anime, I, I guess it's there for me, but I mean, like, I, I know everything that happens. How would you rank Tales of Graces now? Tales of Graces, like, is probably still gonna sit at where it was originally when I played it. Which is gonna be, like, the fifth favorite Tales of game? Let me think. Zillia, Arise. Abyss. Berseria, Graces. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna overtake Berseria for me, but I want to make this very clear. Zillia is undoubtedly my number one. Arise and Abyss as second and third place, very close to each other in quality, in my opinion. Like, picking between those two is pretty difficult. Um, and then, uh, really, Arise, the, one of the main reasons Arise is higher for me than Abyss is because the gameplay is just, in Arise, is, is well above Abyss's. But Abyss, like, storyline and character-wise, really close to Arise for me. Um, and then, uh... After that, Berseria takes fourth with Graces in fifth, and those two are also very close to one another. Great cast, great stories, etc. No, but the resemblance is uncanny. What did you do? Pascal, you killed it! I don't know. I just touched her and then poof! Hey, I see someone. Stop! Wait! Don't go! Well, at least we know someone's alive. Come on. Let's find them and start asking questions. Interrogation time, lads. You got any in requests over here? Tell us a stew. That name sounds so familiar. Like, as soon as I read Tell Us a Stew, I was like, I remember that. That was like a really important thing, wasn't it? Yo, we're at a thousand Elith! Does it, does it max at a thousand? Or did I just happen to get right on a thousand? I thought chat told me last time I could go to like 9,000 or something. We'll see. Tofu Salisbury steak? Why would you ruin a perfectly good steak? Secret seed with the golden bow for the theory of evolution? A book that chronicles everything from the past to the future. You can sell it for 2,000 gold. Dang. Golden bow makes such expensive stuff. I thought that the... Whatchamacallit seed was going to be something we planted back at home. White ring, 1300, not bad. Amazing bone and sharp fang. Strange gear with, the, I want to look at from the decaying sword side. Decisive dice, decisive dice. Dice made for cheating that you don't always roll the number you want. Sell them for almost 1800. And this is just strange gear. This is a chainsaw. A sword reputed to have slain a god. It's a chainsaw? That was a lot of dualizing. Common metal with the theory of evolution to make a magical mirror for 7,000 gold! Holy cow! We probably need that for some si some kind of a side quest later. Let me see it. Let me see this from Tofu. Do we need a lot of Tofu? Oh, we only need... We're gonna be short one Tofu is all. Natto, we're short on Natto as well. Natto on toast. Okay. Eggplant with Mabu Tofu to make Mabo eggplant, apparently. Alright, so I need more Natto and Tofu. We'll see if we just luck into some, but I'll put it in the mixer soon if we don't. Requests? 
This place has requests. Broken brooch. You want to see a brooch in region 66? 66? Supposed to receive it a long time ago. Drive unit. Can't go back to the humanoid research center now that we're under martial law. Can someone please bring me a new drive unit? Martial law, huh? Interesting. You need 12 eggs. I think, therefore, this is... Dude, I say that quote all the time. All things in this world come from truth. As such, I can attain truth from any object I desire. You, you just need 12 eggs, huh? Need a gelatin? I can dualize that, I remember. Working gear. Need these parts to repair the shuttle. Yeah, just give me that 200 SP. Alright, so we got some stuff going on here. Crablets! Yo, Sophie loves those. A lot of stuff going on. Still need more rare metal. Definitely we're good on Shattered Bone. Put in Tofu or something here. And then we can take out Icicle as well for Natto. We need Natto and Tofu. At the moment. Where? Okay, Tofu. 8% chance, 70 Elith. Not bad. 3% chance, 192. What the heck? That's so much. Still gonna put it in and see if we can luck into it, though. We'll leave Quarry Stone in for now, and then put in here, I want the, uh, Tofu. Where's the Tofu? There it is. This is set up how I want it. Am I sure that I want Quarry Stone here, or do I want something else? I think Quarry Stone is fine for now. Is there anything else that I was, like, lacking in? Anything we got zeros on? I'm not seeing anything with zeros that isn't already in. Other than these crystals, which don't count in my world. Finest fur is new, but we didn't have anything to do with it. Could try and get an elegant feather. It's just insanely unlikely. I don't think we needed more secret seed, but I'm going to put it here because it's zero. Let's just see if we get any of this. Well... Nothing to do now but get searching. This is a disquieting place. I hope it's really where we need to be. Come on, let's chase that person we saw earlier. Maybe we should split up. That sounds reasonable, but splitting up may cause additional problems. No, we need to stick together. We have no idea what lies ahead of us. I agree. And we should all be together to protect Sophie as well. Dude, I'm just blind when it comes to Asbel getting to the level 5 on his titles, apparently. Chat keeps having to remind me. He has so many titles he needs to get done. Yeah. Phantasm Flash I use here and there. Concussive Bolt I use a lot. It's my go-to Nova skill, so. Alright. What is this? This looks like a discovery. Tempest Aeternum. Sure. What is this? It appears to be moving. A clock? Hmm, maybe not. Actually, the Overseer used to have something like this. Its presence suggests that a great many people did inhabit this location at one time. And now it's all lonely and stuff. Huh? Machines were built for humans to use, so now this one has no purpose. It's totally sad. I'd expect you to say that. I wouldn't go so far as to say machines have souls, but still. Your sentiment does have a point. Someone needs to play Persona 3! Alright, so that person, quotation marks, must have gone up there. I'm just peeking around a little bit first. Alright, region 13. Which copy of Abyss did you play? I played the 3DS version of the game blind on my channel. Like, two years ago, three years ago. Hello. I thought this would be a discovery, to be honest. Did it say this was a storage room? This is the way that kid went, isn't it? Kid machine thing? Oh, hello, this is a discovery. Giant tub. Oh, yes, more natto, thank you. Oh, what is that smell? Disgusting. Something must be rotting. I'll never get this out of my clothes. Ooh, yum. Somebody's fermenting soybeans. Soybeans? Why? You can make all kinds of goodies out of soybeans if you vary the fermentation level. Fermentation level? Yeah, it's a lot easier than you think it is. 
All it really boils down to is the amount of time you spend fermenting them. So are you saying these soybeans are going to become something else? Maybe we should try some and see. Pascal, how can you tolerate this smell without holding your nose? I like this smell. How could... Uh, oh! <laughs> this... Uh, was this not the way to go? I mean, I'm glad I got in there and got that discovery in the skit. That was a funny one. Follow the person you saw. Did they... I thought they went into the storehouse. Oh, here we go. Probably went this way. Maybe? Oh, yeah. Going up. Hello? Is anyone home? Probably in that big building right there. What's that? This looks interesting. Hello there. Nothing I can do with you? Okay. That's fine. Dude, I love seeing Aphidia in the distance. With that giant ring around it and all. That's so cool. That's just a way back down. We'll need to go to the bottom floor at some point as well. Actually, I probably want to go to the bottom floor right now, because I bet that giant building right there is where I'm supposed to go. Always go the wrong way first! Always! Never mind, this looks like the way to go! We're going back to the top, lads! That giant door up there was even more fancy looking than this big door up here. How much time do I have until part 100? We still got about half an hour, okay. Records room? Gonna play some music? What the heck? Emerald Hope. It's a treat. Oh, so that's it. I think I finally just figured out what's been bothering me about this planet. What is it? I felt like something was missing. I mean, besides all the people. But I couldn't put my finger on it. And now you have? It's hard to put into words, but... See, on our world, you can sense the life in any living being. Even monsters. But the monsters here aren't like that. They lack a certain... spark, I guess. I get what you mean. I think we've all felt something similar ever since we landed here. Plants and animals? Or any other kind of life form barely exist on this planet at all. I guess that must be why this is here. Yeah, it makes sense that the people who once lived here wanted to preserve any kind of remaining life. I can't imagine what they must have gone through. Our world is so full of life. Being here makes me realize how much I take it for granted. I guess all we can do now is to honor the past and make sure the same mistakes aren't committed again. We have to make sure Athenia doesn't suffer the same fate as Fodra. Yeah, we gotta get right on that. So Creus was created to transport Aleth? The name of the colonial satellite sounds like a password hint, Athenia. So, Creus is artificial ore? The city's altitude is falling? What does that mean? Oh, the city is falling? So Creus acts to stabilize Elith particles? Elith, Elith, words. Ooh, baby, the story is heating up. I love when Tales of games get to this point. Where they start to hit you with all the big, like, oh my goodness, this is insane moments. Boop. Oh, the little kid is right there. Didn't even notice you there. What's up here? Trash? Trash, please? Rip. Nameless flower seeds. Seeds of a nameless flower. Is that the one that we're gonna do? Taking seeds from Fodra and going and putting them into, uh, whatchamacallit. Doesn't sound like the best idea either. Ever. Words. Back onto Affinia. What if it's some kind of invasive species that ruins everything? Bye. Come back here, coward. What's going on with that machine? Hey, 
It's a person. She's not breathing and she has no pulse, but I don't think she's dead. Did you bring these people here, Sai? She is alive. And who might you all be? My name is Asbel Lant. My friends and I came here from a different world. A different world? Do you mean Ephenia? Does that mean the seal has finally been broken? Yo, I was just about to say, someone in chat said it immediately. This is Mitsuru's voice actress. I love it. Mitsuru's voice actress. Very good. Ephenia? No. How odd. Then how, may I ask, did you arrive here? We flew here in a shuttle created by my ancestors. We gotta get Mysterious Woman to meet Fourier so that Igus and Mitsuru can team up and save the day. Although it kind of broke when we landed. <laughs> I see. So you must be an Amarcian. That's me! But how do you know about the Amarcians? Is there some kind of connection between us and Fodra? There is, yes. So are you, a uh, Fodrin? Yes, I am. My name is Emerod. Forgive me for not making introductions sooner. I never dreamed that I might one day speak to people from Athenia. Athenia must be their name for our homeworld. I appear to have been asleep for quite some time. But don't you guys call it Aphinia too? I thought that you guys also called it Aphinia. Do you know how long exactly? Around a thousand years, I believe. Holy crap! I had planned to awaken when the chaos on Fodra subsided. I had no idea it might take this long. I'm sorry to be so forward, but we have an urgent question. Do you know this girl? That's Protos Hayes, is it not? It also appears to be malfunctioning. Did you bring this all the way from Athenia? Oh, she talks about it like an object. I just called Sophie it. My bad, Sophie. What do you mean, malfunctioning? Could it be that you don't know about Protos Hayes? Protos Hayes is not a human being. It is an artificial humanoid soldier created by Fodrin scientists. Humanoid? Constructs that resemble people, but are not. Not people. That would explain why she didn't age during the seven years she was missing. Well, I don't care. She's still Sophie. She's still our friend. She's still Tiger Festival. Sophie is sick, Emerod. And we came here to find a cure. Do you know a way to treat her? Protos Hayes is equipped with a self-healing module, but... Hmm, yes. That seems to be malfunctioning as well. The damage is quite severe. Could it have been Lambda? This unit can be repaired, but we must take it to the Humanoid Research Center. However... The center had been overrun by monsters even before I went to sleep. I imagine it's much worse now. Going there will put your lives in grave danger, and Protos Hayes will be unable to defend you. Also, even if you reach the center, there is no guarantee that its equipment will still function. It's quite possible that this unit is simply beyond repair. 
No. Knowing all that, are you still willing to risk your lives for Proto's haste? Yes. Sophie's our friend, and we'd do anything to save her. Very well. In that case, I will not attempt to dissuade you further. There is a machine in the research center that should be able to repair this unit, although I do not know if it still functions. However, you will be unable to operate the machine without my help, so I will accompany you on your journey. We appreciate the help. I will also see that your shuttle is repaired in the meantime. Sai, please get the shuttle to the launch bay and see that it is fully repaired. It would not do to have our guests brave the research center, only to be stranded here in the end. The shuttle's in pretty bad shape, so feel free to whack it around or whatever. Thank you, Emerald. You've already been a tremendous help. Yes, well, I suppose we should be off. We got Emerald now. Does she show up here? She does. There she is. Hey, can you, like, tell us about Fodra in general? Give me the rundown. The last recorded activation was a thousand years ago. I remember the gist of Fodra, but I don't remember the specifics. Yo, Kratos' Carta! Kratos' Carta being on another planet? Very fitting. Very fitting. But, uh, I need to be given the full rundown of Fodra's nonsense again, game. Give it to me. I want it.